So I'm down on the beach at Pakefield, underneath the old Pakefield Ranges, and uh, over there you can see that bit of concrete. That's part of the backstop of the old uh, rifle ranges, Pakefield Ranges. There's been a lot of um, erosion here lately. I haven't been down here for about six months. There's bits of fence have come down now. The cliff has been eaten away quite badly. And there's plenty of recent falls of sand on the cliff. If we just have a look over here. So you've got a lot of uh, metal fencing and trees and bushes have been pulled over and pulled down. You know, you've got your barbed wife on the wooden fence post there. You know, substantial bits, but you know, this is all this has all come down recently. If I come back, you can see the extent of it on the underside. Yeah, so if we carry on around, so you've got um, sections of, of concrete from the shooting butts have come down over time. These weren't lying flat on the beach last time I came here back in the summer. So you can see uh, that's lying on the beach now. So you think this is getting moved about by the water. There's a lot of power in that. Some large sections here. Another piece there. And if you look up there, you can see part of the concrete wall that is still in place, still in situ. Now, it's all quite, quite fascinating. This this bit here was virtual beforehand because I, I climbed up it. Now you see all these these craters and holes and, and what have you. This is where the rounds were hitting. There was there was earth and sand piled up in front of this. Here you go. If you have a look here, see this bit of green here? That's uh, corroded copper. That's from a from a bullet. That's around. Um, I've got anything really to dig it out with at the moment. And that's, that's massively impacted in there. Maybe with this. I'm splintered up. No, it's pretty smashed up. See if we can find some more. I mean, there's, there's another one. Yeah, nice bit of lead and rusted metal. So there's quite a few rounds still, or bits of rounds, still in here, still impacted in. I'll try and, try and get that piece off. It's not ah there. Right, there's one. So you can see the back of the round and where it's effectively just splattered. Okay. Let's see what else we can find, see if we can a couple more bits. See if we can find anything complete. I have previously when I've been down here. Not quite a pile at home. substantial piece of concrete okay so you don't have to look around for long before you find bits and pieces so if I just come down here is well there's a couple there's one and a half one and a half rounds now you've got the back end of one there this one looks to be possibly a 7.62 millimeter NATO round um, 
very unlikely, but slight possibility that I would have fired that back in the 90s. I've been down here and used the GPMG and the SLR and the, the sniper's rifle. Can't remember what what the model number was. L96 or something? No, no L98. I've fired 556 five, down here as well with the LSW and the SA80 as well. So yeah, if you just look around, you'll find this stuff. And like I say, I've got plenty sitting at home from last time I walked down here. When that bit falls, it's going to be even more. The last time I was here, this sand was coming right out here. So I would imagine there's not a massive amount left in this, this sort of sand and earth here because of course it's way further back and would have been way deeper. How long before that is flat on the beach?